Dr. Hovind, I love your doctoral thesis. I've torn it to pieces with Howes and Garfield. I can't remember when I last pissed myself laughing. It's a good thing the thesis mopped the piss off the floor. Welcome to part eight of this read through and peer review of Kent Hovind's doctoral dissertation, which was published on WikiLeaks.org on December the 9th, 2009. If you have not seen the previous parts, then I recommend that you go back and see those first, as I will be starting off this episode exactly where I left off in the last. In the last episode, Kent got all biblical on us, and started quote mining scripture. Well, he continues in this one, but only for a little while. Kent continues, Obadiah 3. Pride! Dot, dot, dot. Have deceived me. What, Kent? Like you tried to deceive the IRS? Hmm, that worked out well now, didn't it? Matthew 23, 6. Love the uppermost rooms at feasts. Yes, Kent. Because... We all know what goes on upstairs at parties now, don't we? Matthew twenty-three twelve. Whoever shall exalt himself shall be a bast. Well, if you're going to be a bast, you might as well do it hard. Mark seven twenty-one. From within. Dot, dot, dot. Proceed, evil thoughts. Dot, dot, dot. Proud. Dot, dot, dot. Kent, if you're going to quote mine, can you just make it a little less obvious? I mean, just picking words out of a sentence and just stringing them together to try and make another sentence? Hmm. Luke one fifty one. He scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Is that like you scatter stupid in their minds, Kent? Romans one twenty two through to thirty. Professing themselves to be wise. Dot dot dot. Proud. Dot dot dot. Kent, I think you're reaching here. I mean, that's one hell of a quote mine. Romans first, verse 22 to verse 30. Basically, you take five, five words out of verse 22 and one word out of verse 30? Hell, I want to see the train that hit that Bible. But I'll let you continue. 1 Corinthians 8 1. Knowledge puffeth up. Dot dot dot. I guess that's why you're so thin. 1 Corinthians 13 4. Charity, dot, 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 is not puffed up. Dot, dot, dot. How about being proud of your charitable donations? First Timothy 3.16. Now, Kent really is reaching now. He even starts mid-sentence. Dot, dot, dot. Lifted up with pride ye fall. Into dot 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 into what Kent? The group of people commonly known as proud people? You don't explain. Second Timothy what 
there were two of them. Three, two. Men shall be lovers of their own selves. Join the dots to reveal the quote mine. Proud. Dot, dot, dot. And there it is. James 4, 6. God resisteth the proud. And for our last quote mine, 1 John 2.16 Mid-sentence start, dot 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 Pride of life Dot 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 And they're all over. Kent ends on a good one there. I mean, if you're gonna quote mine anything, you don't want any more than three words. That, that's, that's, that's what you want to do. Exactly how do you get context with just three words out of a whole verse? Well done, Ken. Bloody idiot. But Ken continues. There you have just a few of the many verses in the Bible that deal with pride. No, Kent. What you have there are several of the many verses in the Bible that have the word pride in them. And a couple that don't, just for good measure. God hates pride. Is that normal pride? Or just gay pride? In his pride, Satan decided he would exalt himself and take over the throne of God. That's not pride, Kent. That's just ambition. I mean, Satan. It's not exactly as though he started in the mail room. Okay, he was, he was head of the uh, celestial choir, but doesn't mean to say that he wants to be stuck in a dead end job for eternity now, does it? Anyway, time for a bold sweeping statement. This is where evolution started. It started in heaven, in the heart of Satan. Hmm. So I guess, in the beginning, we only had one type of dog, one type of cat, one type of horse, one type of cow. There you go, folks. You've got Satan to thank for biological diversity. That's probably how Noah managed to fit them all on his ark. <laughs> anyway, Satan and a number of angels that followed him were cast down to the earth where presumably they claimed asylum and were given a 12-bedroom council house. Then we have the story repeated in the heart of man, who presumably also claimed asylum and was given a 12-bedroom council house. Man is trying to exalt himself. This is what evolution is teaching today, that man is the pinnacle, the ultimate. Yes, Kent because dolphins are well known for their mastery of quantum mechanics, and the Americans might have lost the space race to the Russians, but the Russians lost it to a chimp. Anyhow, I suppose you wouldn't know what evolution was teaching today. After all, the slides that you show your audience all appear to come from textbooks that are aimed at schoolchildren which is why we presume, is why your doctoral dissertation reads like it was written by a school child. Anyhow, we'll leave it there for now. In the next episode, Kent tells us all about Satan's plans. Mm -hmm.